happened in 2020 is we had this collective push where either the leaders or the companies or sometimes the people, we had this push. What happened is we shifted power back from the system to the people. And that to me is when real change happens because having worked at the top of the systems and with all those leadership teams, both internally and externally, it is really hard work. There's a lot of things they have to focus on. There's no way they're going to be as in tune as the people who are living it every day, right? The middle managers, the interns, the employees, the doctors, the nurses, whatever context you're talking about, we've got to actually look at the majority of people doing the work. When power shifted back to them, it got me excited because that meant we have a chance to make a difference in what I look at is like there's a two prong approach or road to getting really great work. We need the people, the individuals to own their own stuff, which doesn't often happen or hasn't historically. And then we need the system to be prepared for what they ask for, for innovation, for diversity, for belonging, for all of these things. They have to be prepared to support that. And now I feel like we've got so many collective toes at or over the line that where are we right now? We're actually at a chance or at a place where we have hope for a change.